Hey, what's up guys? This is West Point Steve coming at you with some Minecraft on the 360. I'm going to show you my um, one world right now to show you some of the games that I built on it. And uh, yeah, take it from there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go under creative mode and just uh, fly around and show you where uh, some cool stuff that I built is located. And if you want to play, um, you gotta have to find me on West Point Steve whenever I'm online. Anyway, I am looking for people who want to play with me on Minecraft, and we can play games and stuff like that on here, and uh, record it and have uh, fun with it. Anyway, here we are. All right, so here I am. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna show you a few things real quick. All right. So the first thing I want to show you guys is um, a boat race that you can have Tower of Butter um, this is based off the idea of you know just boat racing and uh, the Tower of Butter is, is based off the Rooster Teeth idea on Minecraft if you ever watch their episodes that's where it basically comes from the little tower the blue tower is called the Tower of Lightsaber and so that's the one I use um, but I also used uh, their idea from Rooster Teeth in my maps as well. Anyway, um, there's a boat race. That's the first one that I wanted to show you. The second one here is this maze that I built. Um, this is a maze that uh, um, pretty fun to do, um, especially with the Halloween map pack that was free. Um, this maze eat has chests along the sides. If you when you have four players playing at once, this is very crazy. Um, each chest has different things that you can use. Um, the idea is to find the gold blocks. When you find all four gold blocks, you come up here and you place it under your name, under the little obsidian blocks that I have placed strategically around the map. Enderman. Anyway. Um, so this is the maze that I've built, and I'm going to get rid of, uh, fill in that orange hole that I made. Oh, oh, all right. Okay, so that's, uh, those are two things that I've built so far over there. Um, let's go over here. All right, this one over here is uh, pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but once you see it, you'll see that it's very just statistic based and so let's drop down alright so this is called statistical deathmatch which means I press that button and I don't know what I'm gonna get but I have nine choices so each dispenser has nine things in it and it's either good things like a cow which is not going to attack you or it could be like an enderman or a creeper or what have you okay anything that could attack you so um, the object of this game is to do all four at once but in round one you have to do the white one in round two you do the white one and the red one in round three you do the, the three there and then round four you gotta do all four of those now in order for you to move on to the next round you have to survive and the only way you can survive is with your bare hands. There's no armor, there's no swords, there's nothing to protect you. And so you have to survive all four rounds um, without dying. And then you just use your hands, okay? So that's statistical deathmatch pretty much. Or statistical something. I can't remember what I called it before. But it's like statistical survival or something like that. Anyway, that's a cool game you can play. All right, this one over here is um, Battle Royale. Basically, you just death as fight to the end, death matches against each other. If you win, you pick, uh, you open one of these chests, and uh, you pick up one of the blocks. If you get your, if you get um, gold blocks, then. Uh, get your gold blocks that you need. There you go. And notice that some of them have weapons, like this one did have arrows. You could pick that up and you can use it in your next deathmatch. So the person has advantage. 
Okay, this is uh, the fifth one I want to show you here. This is the ice cube that I call. This is based off of Cloud Down from uh, Rooster Teeth. Essentially, you want to build like a big old like tower of. I use ice. You come all the way up here, you build a nice little tower with beds and stuff like that. And all you're doing is dropping. Now you have drop damage in Minecraft when you're playing under survival. And so you're using drop damage. It essentially drop all the way down and the object is to land on the tower here in the middle okay now um, in order for you to build these floating platforms you have to build using the side of the glass here the ice and then you get a floating thing see it's floating all right um, I use several things here I use uh, stone blocks I use um, oh, 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 nether rack and flint and steel when you put fire on another rack it burns forever okay now don't put the fire too close to the ice or it will melt and you will have water everywhere anyway down here this is the sixth thing i want to show you real quick this is the um archer's challenge basically you build a tower all the way up as high as you can and you have one person where i'm at right here and you have another one up on the tower and they're shooting arrows down here now you want to give them the opportunity to shoot the arrows and make sure it hits the target area or around the target so you give them a chance to do that before you give them the time to start shooting anyway you tally up the points um, you can do point systems however you want the white is um, one point or the two points, four points, six points, eight points, ten points, twelve points, or something like that. I don't, I don't care how you do it. It's just, it's just a cool way of just setting up a target. And there it is. Okay. And you build your tower all the way over here, and you build it, and it works. Okay. Here's the seventh thing over here. Um, this is the city I built, by the way, for my middle school kids, and that's what we played a good part of last year. Anyway, over here we got um, um. Um, um, gas, gas man standing. Okay, last man standing, but it's like gas man standing. You have a platform full of wool, and you put gas inside this prison over here, and so the gas will start shooting at you and blowing up the wool and catching the wool on fire, which means that you have to be strategic on where you're landing on the platform. I unfortunately forgot that this is a snowy area and um, there's snow all over the place. But anyway, catches on fire and you need to be the last one standing. Um, here's Wipeout. Here's my version of Wipeout over here. Um, we got Wipeout. Again, the idea of floating platforms. You can do that in Minecraft. Okay, and then um, this is by far one of the hardest jumps I've ever made. <laughs> But it works. You gotta get through that. You gotta get through this little hole on the top up there in order for you to win the race. Anyway, pretty hard. Finally, the last one I wanted to show you. This one is called the Lava Wall. Once I get over there, Lava Wall. This was a game that I never played with the kids last year. I wanted to play this game so bad because this game is fun. All right, so what you got essentially is each person has a station that they have. They have dispensers, fire chargers. They have buttons for those dispensers, um, grass blocks for the dispensers, and then you have oak sapling, um, bone meal, and then you have bows and arrows. Essentially, you use all of that in here. Okay, it's broken up into four areas. So this is one area, and there are even areas too. This is another area, another area, another area. You have to build a big square that's perfectly, that's a perfect square, okay? In order for this to work properly. All right, and so the inner workings um, to this whole thing, this thing is huge. Um, I'll have to show you later, but this took forever to build. And in order for you to get this get this down right, it, the workings up up here in the ceiling have to be perfect. And I was able to manage to do that, okay? So what you do is you get like two minutes to set everything up however you want it, okay? You use the, the tree saplings and you put them in all over the place here. And then you make their trees and you're trying to protect your tower that's in the corner. 
and it's made of wool okay and so whoever burns down all of the uh whoever is the last one with their tower still intact wins the game okay and so there's four areas so this is a good four person match if you want to do it alone and so you're shooting arrows across and you can shoot arrows across a lava um lava walls like this uh, uh waterfalls of lava lava yeah anyway so you can shoot arrows through that and you want to burn your other your other person's tower and so that's essentially the 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 idea and you die you still have a chance all right so now the next thing i wanted to show you is the inner workings of this and i'm telling you this took forever to do all right you have to be very strategic in how you place your lava okay so notice that up here I have a um, I have a platform of stone bricks and what you want to do is layer the stone bricks and I have a layer of stone bricks right where this first lava is so it's right underneath and so you strategically place it and line it up correctly so looking at this yep here it is okay so when you're looking at this I, I'm just gonna destroy this thing this is what it looks like from the top view this is by far the hardest area right here is the corner area but I'm just getting rid of things so you can see the lava wall from above on top of this roof. And so you can see and map out how this actually worked. Alright. No, I'm not going to save this. Okay. So what you have. All right, so here it is. And so if you notice here, in order for me to get this to work, I have to have stone lined up like this all the way across. And then stone like this all the way across, all the way across. Now look at this one. This one is perfectly into a 90 degree angle. So it looks like a crosshair, okay? Now, in order for me to get this to work properly, okay, you have to have some kind of stone going across here with the lava. Now, when you get up to here is the critical point. So there is one, I'm pretty sure there's a lava, uh, there's a stone brick right here. And so there's a stone brick right there helping out with the lava. And now everything else is laid out perfectly so that the lava will flow in every spot that you need for the uh, lava wall and so I made it doing a doing this with four um, it's easier if you just cut it in half yourself like this you know you just cut it in half right here and here okay but since I did four it gave me a little challenge and made me think okay how do I do this doing four and so here's the idea of doing four if you want to build it using um, so four sides like a four square idea there it is anyway there's my um, video for um, the stuff that I built in Minecraft um, if you want to check it out um, find me at West Point Steve online and um, uh, so on YouTube West Point Steve and I'm on Facebook, West Point Steve Gaming. So you can like my page, you can like, um, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Um, anyway, there you go. There's my, there's my cool things on Minecraft. Thanks for watching.